Okay, so question 23 is a little bit of algebra. Part A, we're asked to simplify fully. And we've got x squared plus 3x minus 4 over 2x squared minus 5x plus 3. And don't make a classic mistake and go, oh yeah, just cancel out the x squareds and then cancel out the x's and then we end up with minus 1 over 2 take away 5 is minus 3 plus 3 is 0. So uh, that type of method is absolutely outrageous don't do it, it won't work. What we need to do is we need to break the top into uh, prime factors and the bottom into prime factors. In other words, we're going to factorize the top and the bottom. Okay, so we had, let's just get rid of this nonsense here, we had 2x plus 3x, oh, sorry, x squared plus 3x minus 4. So let's factorize the top. I'm going to have x and x and I need numbers that multiply to give me minus 4 but add to give uh, 3 so it's going to have to be um, plus 4 and minus 1 so that's that's the top factorized and now let's factorize the bottom so it's going to be 2x in one bracket and x in the other and a little bit of thought Two numbers that multiplied to give me okay, so we're gonna need minus three here and minus one here. Okay, <clears throat> and now now that we've written it as a product, um we can cancel above and below. So I can cancel x minus one is common to both, which means that the final answer is going to be x plus four over two x minus three. Okay, do not, you can't cancel out the x's here. It doesn't work. Okay, second part. Write 4 over x plus 2 plus 3 over x minus 2 as a single fraction in its simplest form. Well, <coughs> excuse me. The first issue we have here is, um, let me kind of give you a numerical example. If I wanted to add um, 1 over 3 plus 3 over 8, um, the issue here is that we don't have common denominator, um, so you need to find a common denominator. And one way of finding a common denominator is to multiply the denominator. So I can do 3 times 8 and make a common denominator of 24. Not the lowest, but it is a common denominator. And then we'd end up with 8 plus 9, which would be 17 over 24. Now, in this case, um, a, a very simple way of making a common denominator is to multiply the two denominators together. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to do x plus 2 times x minus 2. And that's going to be the common denominator for both. Okay, so um, if I take the common denominator of x plus 2 um, times x minus 2 and I divide it by x plus 2, I'm going to get x minus 2. So the top here is going to have to be 4 times x minus 2. In other words, you can see now, if I was to cancel x minus 2 above and below the line, I'd end up with 4 over x plus 2, which is what I had to begin with. Uh, similarly here, um, it's going to be 3 times x plus 2 because I can cancel x plus 2 above and below the line and I end up with 3 over x minus 2. Okay, next stage, multiply out our brackets. So we get 4x minus 8 and 3x plus 6 and because they've got a common denominator x plus 2 over x minus 2 just to kind of explain what's going on from here to here suppose I have this um, 2 over 9 plus 5 over 9 well that's just the same as 2 plus 5 over 9 so that's what I've done here. Because we've got the same denominator, I'm just writing it once 
and then I'm going to add the top. And then final part, collecting our like terms together above and below. Um, 4x plus 3x, 7x minus 8 plus 6 is minus 2. So you get 7x minus 2 over x plus 2 times x minus 2. And that's it. Job done.